Hello friends, today uh, we are coming with a new initiative where we will be uh, providing the solutions to the previous year paper as decided by our faculty team to the environmental science aspirants who are going to sit for June 2019 exam. So we will be starting with the solution of the previous year papers which have been asked in December 2018. It will help the students to understand the concepts better. So we will be basically uh, majorly emphasizing on the subject stuff. So let's talk about question number one, December 2018. So here uh, they ask about that biodiversity is a in a riverine ecosystem increase and the four choices are first in the presence of diverse habitats with many potential niches. Second option is with moderate amount of disturbance. The third option given was the river having a large woody debris and the fourth option was in the presence of harsh environment. So you have to select the right choices. So the given options, the option number four is the correct option. No doubt the biodiversity in the river ecosystem is going to increase first in the presence of diverse habitat with many potential niches because more the niche, more biodiversity we can expect. Then we have moderate amount of disturbance. Guys, Always remember that whenever any ecosystem is given a moderate amount of disturbance, then it flourish as a more diverse ecosystem and more species will emerge there. Then we have in the river having the large woody debris. So whenever you have a large woody debris in the river, you are supposed to have a more diversity. And as you can see in our explanation that many factors which influences the alpha diversity found in a riverine ecosystem including age of the river, dissolved oxygen, organic matter, total suspended solids, pollution, introduction of invasive species, dams and change of the river flow which are all affected by biodiversity and generally speaking uh, they are great heterogeneity leads to more niches available for explanation so that's why the option 4 is the correct option for this option 4 is the correct option as you can see so this was question number 1 in 2018 December the second question is very interesting so they ask is this question came from the nuclear chemistry part so in a nuclear fusion reaction based on deuterium and tritium fuel the proportion of these isotope of hydrogen in the fuel is as so you ha have to see that deuterium and tritium are getting to going to fuse and this reaction is on the basis of atom to atom one mole to one mole so you can see in a whole mixture the ratio will be 50 50 percent because both of them are participating in equal quantity so if you calculate the ratio of one atom with respect to the whole it is one out of two so the 50 50 percent ratio is there hence the option number two is the correct option and the right explanation we have attached down that why it is so you can see now question number third which was a very interesting question based on EIA EIA is quite an important topic as far as the NT exam is concerned so they ask uh, like what is a contingency plan in EIA and they have asked you to select the best answer so a contingency plan as mentioned a plan of action to prevent an emergency and step to be taken when emergency occur means you should have a sequence like how well you are prepared so that is called as contingency plan so hence the option number third is the correct option a plan of acting actions to prevent an emergency and steps to be taken when the emergency occur so this is the correct option as far as the contingency plan in EIA is concerned so here we have mentioned the details that what a contingency plan in a EIA so it is device of an outcome other than it's a usual plan and it's often used in the risk management part also right now let's move to one of the technical question which is question number four 
so it's a very interesting question and lots of time these people ask these questions like a tributary flowing at a rate of 4 cubic meter per second converge into a river flowing at a rate of 8 cubic meter per second and the concentration of written x at upstream of the tributary before convergence was 12 mg per liter and that of the river was 30 mg per liter so guys here we have to understand first of all the rule of conservation of flows right and they have asked that if the pollution x is completely mixed in the downstream what would be the concentration so we can easily follow this concept it is well given in gilbert master also so let us suppose the q1 which is the initial flow of the first stream which is 4 cubic meter per second then we have q2 which is the initial flow rate of the second stream which is 8 cubic meter per second then we have c1 which is the initial concentration of x in the first stream which is 12 then we have C2, which is the initial concentration of ACK on the second stream. And C final here is the final concentration. And Q final is the final flow. So let's now apply the mass balance. That Q final, C final must be equal to Q1, C1 plus Q2, C2. And here you can see that we have to calculate the C final. So it will be as when we will solve this equation, Q1, C1 plus Q2, C2 divided by Q final. So Q1 is as you can see given 4 and C1 is 12 mg per liter then Q2 is 8 and C2 is 30 mg per liter divided by Q final which is Q1 plus Q2 right final flow rate and the final answer which is a concentration final of C final will come out to be 24 mg per liter. Yeah. So now let's come to the next question, which is question number five, and more or less is it's a learning based question like sorghum vulgaris or sorghum, which is a very well known C4 plant. So C4 plant are those plants which uh, like follow the carbon fixation pathway and increase the photosynthetic efficiency by reducing the photorespiration. We know that there are two kinds of plants C3 and C4, and C3 plant the first stable product is 3 PGA, while in the C4 plant it is oxaloacetic acid so uh, c4 plant the example here is sorghum right and uh, there are other examples also such as uh, like sorghum sugarcane mage right and some of the weeds and invasive plants also so always remember these examples so sorghum is the c4 plant so this is for today we will be uh, coming with the more solutions in our next video and this is a sole presentation of the team of ASS Science Foundation Delhi who are providing their services to the environmental science community from the last 10 year with best of results in the environmental science domain. Thank you.